Hello and welcome to today's video which is to scan the SUI ecosystem and in fact it's not even pronounced SUI it's actually pronounced SUI. I actually found out yesterday when I was listening to one of the Twitter space talks uh, organized by SUI ecosystem where uh, validator was talking about it and how they're planning to run their validator node on SUI and why they believe in SUI and why they think SUI is great for gaming in fact. And so uh, I'm going to look at the NFT marketplace today. I've already scanned the GameFi section. And I have to say that out of all of them, there are just two games that I'm personally bullish on. And I think that they're going to do well. I think that there's going to be some good potential there. But of course, you can never be too sure. And I've already spoken about one of them in a previous video. That's Rushdown Revolt, which re looks really good. It is already available on Steam. It, so you can go there and you can basically play the game. They're going to integrate NFTs from Sui Network when they go live. And then the other one I'm going to talk about in today's video is Plasmaverse. And then we'll also take a look at two of the NFT marketplace projects, which I think are good. Again, I can't be sure. Again, this is really, really early. This is just my assumption after scanning through all of them. And I don't really like the rest of them, to be honest. But I think that Blue Move and Dragon Sui do have a bit of a potential there, right? So we're going to look at those as well. So let's kick things off with Plasmaverse. Okay, this is the game that I was talking about. And it looks really cool. I mean, if you look at this uh, trailer here, you could see the obviously the cutscenes of the game. You get to see a, a really nice scenario of how the game is going to be, how it's going to look like. It is like your typical MMO game, so a multiplayer online role-playing game. Uh, they do have a roadmap if you go here, so you can see when they're looking to launch. There's going to be they're going to be using NFTs, of course, uh, which is pretty cool considering the game looks awesome. And this is how this is where NFTs should be used to be honest in these kind of games. Uh, there will be a public sale apparently in the third phase as well. They're going to list on a centralized exchange and a DEX as well. So they're likely going to have an in-game currency, but we don't know enough about it. And also the NFTs as well. And uh, you could see that the, you can you can actually talk to them. If you want to talk to the team, you can book a Zoom meeting, which is quite interesting here. I would have liked them to actually list the team members because the team is anonymous in that sense, unless you actually want to meet them through Zoom. And I don't even know if they'll show their face there. Uh, but uh, aside from that, it's still early. I mean, you can see the gameplay, you can see the roadmap and uh, you can see the characters that are going to be available in the game, which looks pretty slick here. As you can see, this is like your proper MMO, right? It's uh, it's like the one you'll be playing on your computer. Um, so, yeah, definitely really cool. It's also the same standard as a console game. So this is how it should be, to be honest. And I don't think we should see anything different when it comes to gaming because we are in 2022 and graphics should matter, gameplay should matter. Uh, this is how it is, 65 unique classes, 145 epic bosses, 1000 rewards. So uh, yeah, like I said, it is early, but I like the look of it. And that's why I put this on my list of on my watch list, I should say, uh, until we get more information, of course. Uh, but so far, we don't know enough about it. So it's still early, like I said. Uh, next, we'll talk about the NFT marketplace, and that's Blue Move. This is one you're probably familiar with because I've mentioned this uh, when I was telling you about any possible SWE airdrop. If there will be any SWE airdrop, and uh, we're assuming that it's going to be like Aptos. Again, we don't even know if it's going to be like that. Well, one of the ways to actually get some testnet SWE coins is to actually use the SWE faucet, which is on Blue Move. Okay, this is the leading NFT marketplace on SWE. That's how they claim themselves to be, but we don't really know, okay? And then one of the projects that's actually in the gaming section is actually, they've actually got a collection on this. So the way it works is you connect your wallet, you go to the SWE faucet, and uh, you generate some testnet SWE. But then what you could actually do is you could take part, part in the auction because they've organized auctions for each collection phase. Right, and the only collection that's available right now, if we look at it here, is Puke to Earn, which is disgusting, but this is one of the uh, fun meme NFT games that's gonna launch on Sui Network. And let's take a look at the collection itself. We actually need to go to Launchpad, and if we go down, we can even see the upcoming Launchpad on Testnet, which is called Vodafone Pugs. Another upcoming one as well. Now, Plasmaverse is the one that I've showed you earlier. Apparently, this also had a token sale on their Testnet, 100k sui 666 items in total all sold out and then we've got puke to earn here for 10k sui 1000 items all sold out again this is all test i think they're hence why it's testnet right they're still testing things they're still testing the features of how this uh, launch pad is going to work but this is pretty much how it actually works 
I mean, you, you simply go to one of these NFTs and they likely announced a specific time and date, uh, which I didn't know about. And uh, I'm guessing that's when you are able to take part in the launch part in the NFT sale. So yeah, right now, there's nothing we can do. I mean, look at the amount of likes these all got. I mean, and it surprises me that Puke2Earn has 30,952 likes, whereas this one, which is an awesome game, Plasma Verse, only 2,620. Something is really weird here. Something is going on here and it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but uh, I mean, what makes sense at the end of the day? Because everything is uh, unexpected. So see, if you click on Puke to earn it tells you sold out here. Ending in 19 hours and 40 minutes, but it's already sold out. So they were still running. And uh, we can't bid for it anymore. We can't get them anymore. But I'm sure they're going to launch another one, probably as a test. But that's how it looks, right? That's how it looks. And... Uh, I'm sure there's going to be, this is like, kind of like the singular of Sui, right? The singular of Sui. Uh, you know, singular is in remark if you're not already aware. If you're from the Sui ecosystem and you've never heard of the Polkadot ecosystem, there is a project on the Polkadot ecosystem called Remark, which have a marketplace of NFTs where people can basically take part in NFT sales. So I'm assuming this is going to be the same, but for Sui, right? Blue Move is going to be the launch pad. However, I've come across this other one here, Dragon Sui which seems to have some potential, but what I don't like is the distribution. So the total supply is 100 million. Ecosystem building and reserve pool, 20 million. The 20 million goes to the team, uh, 10 million to the partners, but the early contributors get 10 million, and also the private sale. So we've got 20 million here, which are going to the private sale and the early contributors, but this is not the problem. The problem is we don't know who those contributors are, right? And then we do have a team here, so at least they're visible here, at least we can see who the team are and we can access their LinkedIn pages as well. This is the core team. Uh, we can see the rest of the team members too. The advisors as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. Uh, but one thing that I found interesting is if you go to the roadmap, you can actually get an idea of when Sui mainnet is due to launch. And you could see here that it's they're aiming for Q2 of 2023 and then multi-chain support as well. Uh, so one of the things they've mentioned here on the site is that they're going to launch when Sui are going to launch, right? And you can create your collection. So again, just like on Blue Move, just like on Singular and the Polkadot ecosystem, you connect your wallet, you create your collection, create your NFTs and list them for sale. That's how it works. Very, very straightforward. They're likely going to use their native token or layer two platform uh, on top of layer one, which is Sui. So uh, yeah, coming soon on testnet. So they're not even on testnet yet, right? We need to wait for testnet to launch and then we can test it out and see how it looks. Uh, but I like the design of these NFTs. The design is definitely better, obviously, because they've got investors back in them. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Again, not financial advice. This is just what seems better than the other ones to me. So Blue Move and Dragon Sui, to me, these two are the only ones that seem like they have some sort of potential. But of course, we have to keep them on our watch list if we want to see how things are going to go. Uh, perhaps you can take part in some of their airdrops. I'm not sure if they're holding any right now. I believe they already did. Uh, they might be holding more because if they're still on testnet and people are testing, perhaps they can support them in some way by testing the platform and then getting an airdrop. And then that way, at least you're getting something, you know, for testing it. Because as you can see, there is an airdrop bounty section here. Uh, and of course, if you're interested, you can follow them on Twitter or join their Telegram. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. This is what I've found so far. Plasma verse from the gaming, as well as the other one, the Revolt one, as I mentioned earlier. We've got Blue Move for the NFT marketplace and Dragon Sui. These two provide the most potential, to be honest. And uh, everything else seems a bit dodgy. And so I'm personally not even going to cover those. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of these two marketplaces? Are you going to probably use them if you are going to go into the Sui ecosystem? And uh, what do you think about the Plasmaverse game? I mean, will you be playing it? My concern is if I'll have to download an EXE file, then there's a high risk there. And I know that sometimes with games like these, especially, you would have to. And so to me, I'm not, you know, it's not very convincing. But uh, if there was uh, like a web version where I could just connect to the web, to play it then that would be cool but i i'm assuming that they're gonna make us download something so you know crypto and downloading executable files is a bit concerning so i don't know uh, let me know in the comments below but thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye